Hi, it's Phil Stone. We're going to talk about WordPress link structure, making your links searchable. By the way, there are more tips on marketing on the internet at powerlinetraining.com. WordPress is a powerful format that gives bloggers many advantages. One is the opportunity for each post to be searchable by the search engines. Well, you want a good laugh? My WordPress blog is powerlinetraining.com, and I wrote an article entitled Posting Links. Here is the WordPress default URL given to that post. First part of the URL is great. But what happened to the post title? And where did this forward slash question mark P equals 123 come from? I mean, how can search engines ever place my article for the keywords posting links if those words are not in the URL of the article? Well, realistically, they can't. WordPress uses the default settings that give each post a number with the format forward slash question mark P equals whatever that number is. So I did a search for the URL tag given to me by WordPress to see if it was a problem that other people had. And there are actually thousands of blog sites with the exact same problem. As a matter of fact, just with the forward slash question mark P equals 123, there's one, there's another one. It just kept going. Question mark P equals 123, all over the place. I would suggest if you have a WordPress blog, click on the title of one of your posts and check in the URL address bar, your browser address bar, and see if the URL up there has this type of a suffix on it. Because realistically, you might have P equals 127 or P equals 732. I mean, there are absolutely thousands of them out there, and you may have this problem. Now, I also wanted to figure out what type of competition I might have for the words posting links. So I did a search for those words, and Google showed 92,400,000 results. I mean, think about this. Was my article entitled Posting Links Included? Not even on the last page, because the words were not in the URL. So I needed to make some changes. I needed a transformation from this thing that WordPress gave me to something that search engine spiders would like that actually included the post name. Well, here's how I did it, and this is how you can do it, too. Just go to your WordPress dashboard, very simple, scroll down to Settings, and click on Permalinks. Then this other dialog box will open up. I've already made these changes. What I did was I unchecked the radio button next to default, which was checked when I first opened it, and I basically checked the radio button next to custom structure right there. I found I could type an assortment of things into the box next to the radio button by custom structure, and these things would be included in my post URL if I wanted them. If I wanted the year that it was done, or the month, or the day, or even the hour and minute and second that it was done. But if I wanted the category, that's an important possibility, or the author, or the post name. I can have all those things. The format needs to be inside that little custom structure box, forward slash percent, whatever that word is, whatever the info I want. If I want the month and the minute and the category and the post name, I'm going to put all that in there. And each time I put one of these up, I'm going to have the percent and the forward slash at the beginning and after. So for example, if I did it like this, forward slash percent, author, percent, forward slash, that's all I did my post URL would look like this. There, my name would be right at the end. Now if I did it with two of these kind of tied together, you notice how this format works. Forward slash percent, the word that I want, in this case author, percent, then another forward slash, then another percent, then my post name percent the forward slash, my post URL would be just like this. It would include my name and then actually the post name at the very end of the URL. Something much, much better. So I wanted really just to promote the post name, posting links. So I just typed forward slash percent post name percent forward slash. That's it. I put it right into the box right there. You see it? So now when you go to my URL, you go to my article. It's right there. When it comes to search engines, I still might be a bit of a needle in a haystack, but at least I'm in that haystack. By the way, if you go through this and you can't get it done, if it still shows up with that oddball ending with the numbers, it's a question of WordPress permissions, and there's another video that you can take a look at that will show you how to deal with that. You'll find that video at powerlinetraining.com. That's where you'll find me, Phil Stone, with more tips and tools on marketing on the Internet. Thanks for listening. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.